you guys, it's Cece. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be playing some Cookie Run and talking about the best use for your crystals. There are a few different ways that you can use your crystals in a lot of places, so I'm going to go over and show you all of them in no specific order apart from me mentioning probably the last part, which is probably the place that you want to use your crystals the most. But I have also made a video on how free to play friendly the game is and how I got so many crystals. So if you have not checked that video, be sure that you pause this, go check that one and then come back. So I'm sitting on 82k crystals right now and those have all been my free to play crystals. I haven't spent anything in the game. But one of the first places that you can and may want to use your crystals is on your production. So I'm going to take this building for example and you'll see I have all these slots where I'm able to make stuff. That's actually because I've unlocked these slots. So starting off, you're not going to have all of those. Let me find this one, for example, because I know I've only unlocked three. So I have three slots on here that I can go ahead and make three milk, but they're going to take 20 minutes and five seconds for each of them. And in a game like this, you may not necessarily want to wait around for so long for resources because things like milk and wood and everything that you can produce, you're either going to have to use in the wishes. So if we're looking in here and you want to actually fulfill the tree of wishes, you will run through ingredients really quickly and you want to make sure that you're doing this so you do get your daily reward, especially when it does have the buff like it does right now. It's a great time to do it. But as I'm going through and I'm fulfilling, they're going to come back. Eventually, I am going to run out of things and I may not be able to actually fill these requests. So I'm going to go through and give you an example. So the reason I'm actually able to fill a lot of these is because I have actually upgraded a lot of my stuff. So go ahead, collect my daily reward here and it does get better and better. So I'm going to tap this out and keep fulfilling, fulfilling, fulfilling. And you'll see some of them I'm starting to get low. So this one, I only have one out of four here. I can do this one. I don't have enough access here. I can do that one. Two different options. You can hit refresh, but then you're waiting 10 minutes for your next wish to come through. So that is part of the reason that you actually want to expand your production line. So even in here, for example, I have so much stuff to collect, which is great. That's what we want to do. But even moving down here, it's not too expensive depending on the ones that you're looking at. So if I'm looking at my lumberjacks log, for example, max level three out of three, I'm going to want to increase my queue. So 300 crystals, 500 crystals, 700 crystals, 900, and now it's max. So now I would go in and say if I was going to be offline for a while, I can actually go ahead and do eight of these. It's going to take an hour each. And this is great. For example, before you go to bed, I'm going to go ahead, and stack these. It's going to make 20 per pile. I have it all unlocked. So all night, this will be crafting those. If you are, say, playing the game currently and you're actively doing the story mode or actively doing arena, then yeah, you can go ahead and do some of these ones. But same thing, you'll have to check back less often. So for some of these ones taking 21 seconds, which is how long mine currently is taking to make one roll cake, uh, well, three technically, but like <laughs> one stack, 20 seconds. I don't want to sit here and come back every 20 seconds to click on this. So one of the best places that you can use them is to actually increase your queue so that your production line is constantly moving. As I said, when you're sitting waiting for resources, sometimes you don't want to do that. You don't want to be waiting around for it because it's not only the tree of wishes that you're going to use it in. For example, if you actually want to go ahead and clear out some of your space, you'll see this is going to require digging shovels, which right now I have seven out of six. I'll want to craft more. And as you go through and play the game, you are going to unlock more things. One of those being the harbor, for example. So even on the harbor, when you want to send some stuff off, this is a great way to get rid of your excess resources that you have. So giving you an example, I am sitting on 117 Jelly Bee Jam because I'm constantly producing it. So I'm actually going to cap this. So load this with 20. And once your minimum load is on this ship and done and loaded and gone, you're going to get resources that come back. So also a great place to use them there and even the seaside market. So if I wanted to get anything specific out of here, you'll see a lot of it is going to require resources. So for example, if I want a defense powder, I'm going to need to use resources there. Or if I need biscuit flour, for example, I can buy it using the berries I have. So upgrading your queue using your crystals is one great way to use them. Now using your crystals there, I would say is more so for your convenience and just for progression to be able to progress really quickly, level things up. That's a good use for them. But this case, this is actually one of the places I would highly recommend to use your crystals 
because it is beneficial for you in the game and for your cookies. And what I'm talking about here is actually using it on landmarks. So if we click on build and we go over to decors, you're gonna see there's all these different categories. And in completing them, it does give you a bit of crystal back. So for example, you see I, I've completed Gnome's Life, I have completed Crispy Cookie Town. There are also some special edition ones. So the special edition ones, pay attention to because you are only gonna have a certain amount of time to get them done. If you are wanting to get the bonus crystals from this, you're gonna get the decor from it as well. So it is gonna let you know like how many points you'll get from it. But when I'm talking about actual landmarks, that's a little bit different. So in the landmarks, let's click on one of these, for example, let's go Sculpture Park. We completed it, we got all 16, we would get 200 crystals. And in it, you can buy stuff using your gold, which you will have a lot of at some point, but some of it is going to cost crystals, like the landmarks. So the Dreaming Jelly Lion statue is gonna cost 2,400 crystals. But you'll see the benefit to actually getting it is that all your cookies are going to have a 5% increased attack. So I would say this is one of the most important places to use your crystals. First is for landmarks because you'll see your cookies getting 5% attack is across everything, whether it's story mode or doing arena. It's a great way to buff your cookie stats. There are different ones to so make sure you're going through clicking on them. So Garden of the Lights, for example. This one, the stamina jelly recharging time, uh, minus 1%. Let's go check out Starry Night. So this one, coins from battles plus 2%. So you'll see there are a lot of different buffs and different increases all throughout that you can get from here. So make sure you're going through and checking some of them. Some of them are just decorative like this one, just giving you um, cookie decor and points and not necessarily giving you things like landmarks, but those are the ones that you wanna pay the most attention to because those are the ones that are actually gonna help out your cookies in battle and it is a great way to increase your cookies stats. And with everything that you are collecting, another place you can use them is storage. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my storage. And if you know me and games, I like to hang on to things. So if you're somebody who hoards items, collects items, and this really does go in point with what I was first talking about with producing a lot of different things, it all is going to take up storage. So in here, you'll see all the goods I have right now being stored. I also have skill powders sitting there being stored. I have jellies. I have a lot of stuff in here. Eventually you can run out of room. So one way that you can expand this is going to be using, for example, your materials, but if you are short. So for example, if I don't have 30 candy saws and I don't wanna craft them, I can always buy them using crystals. For now, I have been able to do it through crafting, but if you are in a pinch and you're not able to collect anything else and you've gotten to that point where you need more room, then one place that you can use them is to actually expand your storage. And lastly, I think this is the place most people typically want to use their crystals. It's the thing that attracts us to these kind of games, and it is the gacha system. They go ahead and call it gacha. This is the place that I think a lot of us are tempted to use our crystals. And I think the place that we want to run to first to be able to use them and spam and get items. Totally understandable. When I first started, I definitely spent some crystals on summoning just because I was like, I want better cookies. I want to be able to go through things easier. I want to test my luck. And of course, to summon. We all love summoning. It's part of what tracks us to gacha games. So this is, of course, a place that you can do that. So you can draw 10 times. That's going to use 3,000 crystals every time that you do the times 10 draw and especially when there is a featured cookie that's out and you're wanting to aim for it and go for it and say you've used all your cookie cutters so you'll see I don't have any more of the magic cookie cutters or even special cookie cutters. I may be tempted to actually hit the draw and try to get it from here. So I would argue this is the place that people want to use them the most. And although early on I would say, yeah, you can use some here and there, I still think when it comes to landmarks, that's probably the most important place to use your tickets. And from what I found is actually increasing my queue was also really helpful because it allowed me to get resources back pretty quick and allows me to keep moving on the account. But I will say, I think summoning is obviously going to be the most tempting and not necessarily the worst way to use your crystals, but I would definitely not cap yourself out to zero in the beginning early on by any means but at the same time i get it there is a type of like pity system in the game so eventually yes you are going to be able to get um, a better cookie like say you've summoned a ton and you haven't had much eventually it's going to give you that epic cookie it's going to be guaranteed one for every hundred draws 
So I get it that maybe some place that you are wanting to summon and use them, but keep in mind all the other areas that you can use your crystals in the game. I hope you found this video helpful for places that you can use your crystals. So just to recap, increase your queue so you're able to send out more wishes, the jelly trains, the harbor, all of those places. Great place to use them. Number two would be your landmarks, which I would actually argue is probably one of the more important things as soon as you get those landmarks. Focus a little bit in there. You are going to notice it is worth it for your cookies, especially if you are doing anything that's PvP related. Number three is going to be like your storage. So if you are finding that you need more space and you are hoarding a lot of stuff, that is a good place to use them. And of course, number four, which you may also argue could be number one, depending on your play style, is going to be for summons. I get it. It's a gotcha game. We want to be able to summon and get some. So that's another place that you can use them. But if you have any other suggestions for ways that players can use your crystals, comment those down below. Be sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on more Cookie Run videos coming out soon. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Next level.